it's all well and good for Tansimuria to say, you know, of all talk, AFTA is all talk, and AEC, the ASEAN Economic Community, is all talk. But if you are serious, and Malaysia was the host of the last ASEAN summit, about realizing this, this thing, it's, it is absolutely essential that we take these commitments seriously, and we try to advance the process. We do not just turn our backs on our neighbors and say, oh, well, it's all talk. ASEAN is all talk. And basically, with half the membership or four out of ten members of ASEAN joining the, the TPPA, you basically have said goodbye to ASEAN as far as economic integration and cooperation is concerned. Now, the question then arise, arises why all this? I think it is very troubling because, as you know, uh, in a few days' time, you will. We will mark the 40th anniversary of the divine death of, of the late uh, Tun Razak. Tun Razak um, redefined Malaysian foreign policy, and one of his commitments was to create a zone of peace, freedom, and neutrality. That, I think, was a very, very important develop, uh, initiative on his part, and we are basically dropping our commitment to neutrality. I think it is extremely important that we, we recognize that this very important principle is at stake. The question then remains that with this dubious trade benefits and negligible growth benefits, why are we so committed? That's a question which I do not understand. But I think if it is a question of the Prime Minister wanting to signal to the US government that we are friends of the US, that signaling has already been done. When the vote comes in Parliament, I think Parliament should drop the whips that, as Consumer has suggested, that we basically, people in Parliament rise to the challenge, address the questions in the, in the, in the public interest, and forget their party alignments 